how to invest your welding money. So, someone asked me, man, I see you talk about passive income. I see you talk about generational wealth and you teach welding. You're doing these containers. But what about this money? You talk about so many things you can do with this money. Uh, I'm just working. I'm doing good. You know, should I have another source of income? If you're working, you need another source of income because it's going to be a day where you might not work. So you want to have some type of investments other than just welding. But you're going to use your welding money to make those investments. You're going to make investments in your personal PPE. You're going to make investments in your tools. You're going to make investment in your welding equipment. You're going to make investments in uh, your welding advertisement. You're going to make investments in your welding insurance. You're going to make investments, investments in your welding portfolio. And then once you start accumulating money, then you start investing in other things that you like, that you might like. I like hip hop. I'm always going to be a participant of hip hop. So I release my own. And yes, I make money off of it, but I'm not I don't do it just for to get to get, you know, saying to get that big bag off of it. I do it because I love hip hop. That's my culture. You see what I'm saying? Like that's something that we created as a people. So that's what I enjoy doing. It's a stress reliever for me. Then I invest money in stocks. I invest money in business. I invest money in products. You see what I'm saying? So there's many ways to invest your money once you make a little welding money. And it, it's not a lot. A lot of times we want to make money as soon as we make it. We want to invest it in some liabilities. A nice truck real quick to show them that I'm doing good. Some nice clothes to say, hey, man, I'm making a little money. You might want to do just different things. Take trips all the time. Or eat fancy food. But all I'm saying is, if you have to work all the time to pay all of your bills, maybe you need a second source of income. Maybe you need two sources of income and you can get it from different ways, but you can use your well money. And this is something you don't have to go to college for. You know, I teach welding independently and a lot of people that I have taught and have assisted been people who had never finished high school. Some people never didn't even know how to read, but they was able to get a good paying job because most jobs require skills. And then they'll get you certified on the job. I had a few people ask me, where do you, is your classes getting me certified? I said, I'm getting you prepared to get certified. I can point you in that direction. I can take you down and you still got to pay for it yourself. See, I'm getting you prepared, but you still got to do something yourself if you want this search in your pocket to get more money. But most of the time on these certain jobs, they will certify you. They want you to have the skill set. So don't cheat yourself. Oh, go to college. I spend this money here or they'll give me a little grant if I go here, but you really don't get nothing. I had a guy that I'm uh, tutoring right now uh, and mentoring who has already been in school two and a half, three months. And we've been networking for maybe six hours of welding and communicating on that level. And he has already told me he have gained more from our time than he has had in this school. He's like, man, I feel like I've been bamboozled. I've been cheated. I've been hoodwinked. <laughs> so all I'm saying is don't think that the traditional way of doing things is going to get you over the hump. Traditional way of owning a home, traditional way of going to college and spending your money, the traditional way of being in debt. See, the goal is to use our earned income to create passive income. And yes, you can create it. Don't believe the myth. Some people want to knock it because they don't know how to achieve it. But there's millionaires out here, family, and our goal is to get there. But our goal is not just to get there and get the bag, because what we're going to do, just like a lot of millionaires who have got the bag, who wasn't prepared uh, psychologically and educational, uh, mentally up on how to maintain uh, the bag with financial literacy, they lost it or killed themselves or destroyed other people. You see what I'm saying? So I think that financial literacy is something that we have to learn and you can learn it without going to school. I teach it independently in my classes. Other people can teach it. You can follow. You can get more education. Just get hungry. If you know those who don't like to read a lot, you can watch a lot of good educational videos. But you're going to have to be hungry and you're going to have to do something yourself. See, it all boils down to you being proactive about what you want.
You know what I mean? So sometimes we get caught up in wanting someone else to provide a future for us. That's what a job do. It's providing you a way. I'm not knocking it, but if you want to be independent and you want to turn your life into a corporation, into an LLC, you're going to have to use that job to build your business. Before I let you go, I'm going to tell you about a company that, that I use because they told other people that come there, they use me as a model. And this is a company out of Bentonville, Arkansas. And I'm going to shout their name out because I really don't care much about them just because the way they tried to scandalize my name. You know what I mean? They told other people that I use them to start my business. This is a company out of Arkansas called Wheelshire. Now, I worked there as an ironworker welder. And as I was working there, I was saving my money up. And I was going to some of their classes. I was investing my money, buying more tools, buying more equipment, getting the things I needed to strike out on my own. Once I got to that certain level, I struck out on my own. A few of those uh, guys that was working there actually one of the opportunities that I had going and I helped both of them get an opportunity. You know, I have two guys get an opportunity. Uh, one of them was a white guy and the other one was a Spanish guy. I have both of them get an opportunity. The Spanish guy is still winning to this day. Um, don't know what the white guy is doing, but he told me with tears in his eyes that he had never made that much money in his life, in the, you know, working for itself, you know what I'm saying, representing itself. And the thing could have been a whole lot better, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I can say this. I didn't use them, but they would have used me. They were using us. That's what businesses do, right? They use you. To employ, to, to, uh, to employ you to build their businesses so they can pull up in, in Rolls Royces and nice cars and look down on you while they stay in them nice neighborhoods, you know what I mean? And they doing good and they come around you and look at you like you a piece of shit. But they need you, but you better not use your money to make you some money. You see what I'm saying? So all I want to say is, man, don't worry about that. Throw it out the window. Learn how to use a job. Learn how to use your earned income to make passive income from welding. Hog on.